Hello everybody and thank you for watching. I'm back out again. The sap is rising and there's a little bit of spring in the air and the birds are singing like mad. I'm sorry about the road sound, it's quite busy. But I will move further away from the road as we go on. I've just come out to lay some compost on my cardboard which has been down now for about ooh, probably a month actually um, and that's two bags and they are absolutely sodden wet so I haven't been able to take them up the to the potato bed at the moment my leaves are doing well they've been topped up on a regular basis so there's loads in there now so I'm very pleased with those and excited about what they'll be like in a couple of years as compost. So I will slowly walk up the slope. Isn't it lovely, eh? What a lovely place to be able to garden. And as we go along, there's an awful lot of laurel trees, bushes that need cutting back and getting under control. But this part of the garden had been neglected for about 20 years, so that's why it's all a bit full of laurels. So I put two bags of compost down on my potato bed on top of the cardboard. I think I'm going to collect a bit more cardboard and put it on that little bit there with some more compost. This is my competitor, you see, and he has rather a a larger potato bed than I do so we need to square up the space but anyway we have agreed today upon Maris Piper potatoes because they're good all-rounders because obviously we have to buy this buy and grow the same type of potato so it's a fair competition Ooh, sorry I just tripped over a stump there now I have 15 lovely garlic plants growing and they're growing really nicely. I've just replaced a bit of the leaves because it's going to get colder and it's been so windy that all the leaves are being blown off where I put them. Oh, I've just noticed a little Welsh poppy. Oh, look at that! And on the fourth of January or is it the fifth? Anyway, right at the beginning of January anyway. Isn't that gorgeous? So as I carry on along, I've briefly uncovered my sprouts, my, not sprouts, broad beans. And I've counted a possible 13 plants, but they have been well and truly munched by slugs and snails somebody has bit one off and carried it away so I'm just hoping that in the spring they will take off and I can spread them out a bit I don't know whether that one will survive I don't know the, there were two little ones down here I don't know if you can see but I think they've been well munched so who knows if they'll come back or not. I don't have high hopes. But that row along there, nothing at all. I don't know if it's because it's at the bottom of the slope and it's just been so wet, they all rotted off again. But there's nothing. But this bed here is doing all right and it's waiting for me to put in my spring planting of multi-sown onions, and beetroots and carrots and then what I've been doing this morning as well is clearing this little space and I'll do some more later but this space is for a tripod of runner beans and I want to put a tripod of French beans in as well because they come up a little bit faster uh, Along here is my space devoted to tomatoes and I need to elongate it a bit and put 
enough space there cleared for peppers. Here goes another laurel bush. So you can see it will be quite a long border in the end, but as I said before, I have to respect the space of the gardener who wants to come up and deal with that part of the garden over there. And so I'm also wondering about where to put the rhubarb bush. I have requests for rhubarb and I think it would probably grow quite well here. I'm thinking maybe on this bit of slope because they're very tough and hardy creatures aren't they? So uh, that's where we're at at the moment and when I go in I'm going to sow my peppers, keep them in a warm spot in the flat. I don't have a heated propagator, so I don't have room for it. So I'm going to keep it in a warm spot, just hope for the best. It is a very warm flat that we live in now, so... So things are beginning to shape up a little bit, I think. I'm just going to have a very long, very narrow vegetable plot and just reduce what I can grow on it. But then that's okay. It's all right while well, I'm waiting for an allotment to come up available anyway. So I'll see you all later. And thank you very much for watching. Happy New Year to everybody and ho for the spring. <laughs>